remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. There seems to be no end in sight for the travails of impacted communities in oil mining lease OML 29, several weeks after a massive leakage occurred in Santa Barbara Oil Well 1, which is owned and operated by ITO Eastern Exploration and Production Company Limited. Deeply worried by this development, Bielsa State Governor Doye Diri recently embarked on a fact-finding mission to the polluted site at Opunimbe community, where he called for immediate action to arrest the situation. Our correspondent reports that several other host communities in Bielsa and River States have been seriously impacted by the recent environmental disaster in OML 29. In November this year, there was a massive leakage from Santa Barbara Oil Well in OML 29, operated by ITO Eastern Exploration and Production Company Limited. The leakage had spewed thousands of barrels of crude into water bodies and farmlands on which ITO's immediate host community of Upunembe in Bielsa State depends for its survival. In its response, ITO had promised to stop the leakage within one week to forestall a foreseeable collateral damage on the environment. Unfortunately, ITO was unable to arrest the situation on record time, prompting Bielsa State Governor Doye Diri to visit the polluted site some four weeks after the incident. At a meeting with members of Upunimbe community, Governor Doye Diri had called for concerted efforts by the federal government and ITO to stop the leakage that has taken a huge toll on the lives of affected communities. The only thing we know how to do best is uh, fishing. And that is the beauty of Nigeria. Others have grazing roots. Good, we are fishing roots. Today, our own fishing route is endangered. I call on the federal government to immediately also react and ensure that our fishing route is safe. Meanwhile, as Governor Doedi stands with impacted communities in Bielsa states, Neighboring communities equally devastated by the OML-29 oil spillage in River State are on their own. Paramount ruler of Aburemi is Royal Majesty King Collins Daniel, whose kingdom traverses communities in Bielsa and River State, says his people are going through difficult times on account of the spillage. Odioma is affected heavily. Tom Brothers is affected. But they are in Brass local government area. In fact, aquaculture is affected because after Juju Point, you get to um, uh, Kampala, you get to the Body Creek, up to Kola. They are in River State. This is one of the worst things you can, you can think of. And the response is quite slow. To the dismay of the oil impacted communities, the Arewa Consultative Youth Movement had condemned reports on the OML 29 oil spillage as exaggerated. In a swift reaction, member representing NIMBY Constituency 1 in the Bielsa State House of Assembly, Honorable Edward Iria Brigidi, advised all interested parties not to politicize what is obviously an environmental disaster. This is not a politics. APC, PDP, we are one. Our people are suffering. When you go to the fishing camp, you can see some PDP, you can see some APC. So anything we are doing, we have to keep politics aside. And we have to work together. In a related development, Odenware and Okotuware communities in southern Ijo local government area of Bielsa State have drawn the attention of relevant authorities to a recent oil spillage from the Ogboimbiri Tibidapa pipeline belonging to the Nigerian Ajib Oil Company. Narrating their ordeal to reporters, a Biki Friday of Okotuware community and youth president of Odenware. Sanitarian captain accused Ajip Oil of surreptitiously capping the damaged wellhead after the spillage had destroyed their sources of livelihood. They would have come to our communities, threatened us, harassed us, if it was at all a, a, a sabotage. But just because it was an equipment failure, they secretly came and do the clamping job and left. Right from this area to the other end, every palm tree is burnt off. And then there are a lot of uh, economic trees. We use them for lumbering timber, which is one of our economic uh, earnings. 
and all of them are gone. These are indeed very trying times for communities devastated by oil spillages in Bielsa and river states as they continue to grow up in all directions in search of soccer. Perhaps a timely intervention by the federal government and the oil companies responsible for the pollution will go a long way to nip in the board what could degenerate into one of the worst environmental crises witnessed throughout the checkered history of the Niger Delta region. Inside the Niger Delta, 